Okay, guys. Um, what I wanted to do today was um, go through and show you how to build uh, a Lineage OS ROM for the Lenovo Tab 4.8. Um, and um, we're just going to go through the basic commands and I'll, I'll explain them a little bit to, to the best of my ability. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's get started. So the uh, first thing you want to do is you want to find a directory that you have plenty of space in. Uh, the, the amount of disk space it takes to build Lineage ROM is, is quite significant. It can be 100, 200 gigs when you start adding up the output files. So uh, once you found a, a directory you can build in, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, make sure you have repo installed so I haven't we won't install repo but repo is a tool that allows you to manage multiple uh, repositories at one time and then we're going to call the init uh, action on the repo command and then we're going to specify that uh, I, I forget the what dash u is but we're go this is we're going to specify dash u and give it this uh, Git repository uh, location, and then we're going to use dash b and specify the branch of lineage-16.0. So the latest version of lineage that's supported by this device, the Lenovo Tab 4.8, is 16.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to initialize uh, this repository with the repo command and it's going to set the branch to use to be lineage-16.0. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to... Uh, 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 so, so you can sync your repo right away and it'll build a default lineage ROM and it will have access to the devices that um, uh, lineage supports out of the box. Uh, but we'll, our device is not an official uh, device. So what we need to do is we need to update a file called room service and to do that we need to update a file in the dot repo repository and then the or dot repo directory and then the local manifest directory and we need to update a file called room service.xml. So my my file already has some content because I've modified it before um, and then we can go over here uh, and we can grab, if we go to this uh, account and then this repository, there's a branch called TB8504 and it contains um, some references to uh, some repositories that um, are specific for this device. Um, and some of these I've made some updates to, so feel free to change these. Uh, but basically what we're doing now is we're specifying some additional repositories to be used uh, when we build our Lenovo ROM. And the, the format is basically uh, project, you have these project entries and um, uh, in the, in you specify a repository and then where you'd like that repository to be cloned to. And you can also specify a revision, which is a branch. Um, and it will basically check out the GitHub project of, with this branch and clone it into um, this directory in your uh, repo directory, which we just uh, initialized. Uh, it specifies the remote, so this is GitHub. You could also have a remote uh, uh, at the top specified that's like GitLab or something if you had your your uh, repositories um, in GitLab. So we're going to save that and close this and we'll do a uh, sync. So I can see the command up here that I kind of typed out. So let's do this and let's add that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, the repositories that were specified in this default um, project as well as the repositories that I uh, added um, in our room service.xml and we're going to sync all those files down to the local 
um, disk. And that will take a while. That can take a, an hour or a few hours. So I'm going to stop that here using control C. And I'm going to go over to another directory where I've already uh, done that sync. And the next step that we can do is very similar to building a default Android. So we're going to type source and then build in setup. And what this is going to do is it's going to configure our environment uh, using um, this shell script. So if I press enter, we can see that that shell script then uh, finds other shell scripts that help configure the uh, shell environment. Um, and you can create your own for various devices. Um, we can see that it ran one uh, related to lineage uh, here. So the next thing we can do is uh, we can run a command called brunch or breakfast uh, TB8504 and what that will do is that will specify or that will do some additional configuration for the specific device so it's going to set some environment variables that will tell the scripts the make make scripts that were or make files that are being run uh, what kind of device to, to build uh, it might tell you tell it what kind of a uh, kernel configuration to use when it's building uh, that device. And so uh, that configuration is done. And now the last command we can do to build is called brunch. And this is specific to uh, lineage. And what this will do is this will uh, um, this will this will start building our ROM. So uh, if we've previously built, it, it'll be a very short process. If it's our first time building, it can take an hour or two. So uh, I just previously built, uh, it. it is building the kernel even though I haven't made any changes to the kernel files. Um, and uh, most of the stuff should be the same. So it, it, it's smart enough to, to determine that uh, no files have been changed and make the, the build very quickly. Uh, the majority of the time that that happens each build is copying the built files into a, an image and then packaging them in a zip file that can then be flashed. Uh, but those are the basic steps to building Lineage OS for the Lenovo Tab 4.8. Um, I'd like to, to say thank you to uh, to uh, Highway Star, uh, who built the initial ROM or set up the initial ROM for the Lenovo Tab 48, and he's been very active in the Lenovo Dev community. Um, without him, we wouldn't have uh, the repositories to build this ROM for, and I'm very grateful for that. And um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please uh, include them. Uh, in the comments and uh, I think uh, coming up what we'll do is we'll actually have um, we'll go through part of these repositories and talk about how uh, how to make changes on the ROM uh, so thank you for watching and I, I hope you have a good day